you heard of Vivekananda? Hmm? He is the first yogi who came to this country in 1893 and made a little bit of waves in those days. So he also went to Europe on his way back from the United States and happened to be a guest of a German philosopher. And after dinner they met in the study and there was… Uh, they were discussing this and that and uh, there was a large book on his table which was over seven hundred pages. So Vivekananda said, uh, because the man was speaking very highly about the book, he said, can you give me that book for an hour? Let me see what is there in it. That man laughed. He said, in one hour you are going to read this book? I have been reading it for weeks and not getting anywhere because it's so complex. And that too it's in German language. You don't even know the language. What will you do with it in an hour? Vivekananda said, you give it to me for an hour, let me see. So the book was given to him. He took the book and placed it between his two hands and just sat there with his eyes closed. After one hour, he took the book and gave it to him and said, this doesn't have anything significant in it. <laughs> that man thought, this is the peak of arrogance. You don't even open the book and you make a comment about the book, a book which is in a language that you do not know. So he, f he was a little put off by this and he says, what is this nonsense? Vivekananda said, you ask me anything about the book, I'll tell you. Okay, in page 633, what is there? Verbatim, Vivekananda repeats. You ask any page, just num number the page, he will tell you what is there word by word on every page. Then he asked, how is this? You didn't even open the book, how is this possible? He said, that's why they call me Vivekananda. Viveka means perception. His name is Narendra. His guru called him Vivekananda because of his ability to perceive. So he said, that's why I am called Vivekananda. So perception of life is not… you cannot all process it through your logical mind. It doesn't work like that because logic will filter out so much of your life without which you cannot live.